Woman empowerment is one of the most fundamental issues in regard to bringing a change in society. The Sculptor's Collection by Agnes Arellano embodies the power, strength, and endurance of women who are not afraid to fall but always carry on. Hi, my name is Franzel and for today's video, I'm going to share one of the artwork of Ms. Agnes Arellano, a local artist here in the Philippines. This is the Three Buddha Mothers, also known as Tatlong Budang Ina. The Three Buddha Mothers derives from the many mother goddesses, paradigms in religion and literature. The first woman is Vesta makes the mudra of generosity. She is the vessel of life who nourish milk and honey, molting and breaking out from her burdensome cocoon. She is also representing the maiden or birth. The second one is Dea. She is strong and immovable. It looks like it's in despair. Her head is hung and her wings, which is her hands, that are tight. She is molting. Her skin is coming up. She will metamorph into something else. This was the hope of the Middle Age crisis. It is like you will become a new person. Agnes Arellano expressed her motherhood in Todea's sculpture. The four sets of breasts signified her four children, three stepchildren and one natural one. Dea represents the life and wife. And the last woman is Lola. The mother of teaching turns inwards. She promised to lead men back to the sure instinct of love which he long ago forfeited by intellectual pride. She represents crown and death. The three women basically represent a journey of a mother, the cycle of birth, life, and death. The art created by Miss Agnes Arellano. It started when she engaged and put sculptures arts into her life. She mixed arts and psychology together to put up a sculpture that presents her emotions not only as a woman but also as a mother. The purpose of the art is to remind us that arts are not specifically sexual. It is time to stop objectifying these women or see past naked bodies and start to truly understand what they represent. I think it is also to know the different stages in our lives, especially the women or mothers. It is not about criticizing them, but to understand that women, especially mothers, go through a different pain or different experiences that we may not know. They can hide it through smiles as well as the naked body through clothes. Agnes Arellano's aim is to bring a divine dimension back into the familiar human figure and to stress the need to search for the sacred in everyday life. Women artists have a history of making important work that deals with their personal experiences and emotions. This can include everyday objects and surroundings, but also the objects that we think of as fine arts. Goodbye and thank you.